So this is some more marketplace junk I uh, picked up not too long ago, pretty recently. The Husqvarna Zero Turn RZ4623. So 46 inch deck and 23 horsepower uh, Kohler V-Twin. Kind of rougher around the edges, but uh, we're gonna hook a battery up and see what happens if we can get anything. The meter only reads 195 hours, but it seems like it's gonna, it's got a little bit more than that on it, but all the tires hold air, so that's good. It's gonna need a seat and um, who knows what else, but we're gonna get a battery hooked up and um, see what happens. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. And uh, we're working on a Husqvarna zero turn today with a Kohler engine. And we're really putting uh, a flywheel on it. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want more small engine how-to videos, uh, Hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. actually doesn't sound too bad um it does have that head gasket leak though i'm gonna have to fix that but see uh see if it moves blades come on and yeah get these batteries off here so i keep on cranking it over and i hear this squeaking noise it sounds like that and i i i just thought it was one of the pulleys on the underside of it that was just you know kind of rusted and need lubricated but it really sounds like it's coming from under the flywheel and sometimes these um, colors they have you know um, a charging system under the flywheel with magnets in it and uh, a stator and sometimes the magnets on a the flywheel they come off so i just thought i was gonna uh, go ahead and check it out make sure it was okay so i took this uh top cover off i took the two um the two coils off and we're going to take the flywheel off so i'm going to show you how to do that now on this particular Kohler, it is a 13 right here so i just got a 13 on the impact i'm going to run that out and it's got you know a bolt and a washer here also has this thing and this plastic piece. Well, we're going to pull that off. We're going to take the bolt. We're going to screw it back in. You know, about yay far. Um, you have to be careful um, because, what we're, well, I'll show you what we're going to do first. We're going to take a pry bar. We're going to put it underneath it here. Um, I'm going to do it right here by the starter. You can do it on this corner or on that corner. Um, on different, you know, on and different engines, so there's going to be different places where you can put it. We're going to take that a pry bar, a chisel, and um, we're going to wedge that in there. We're going to hit it in, and then we're going to take the hammer. And we're going to hit the top of this bolt, and it'll pop off the flywheel well. Now you have to be careful because if you have it screwed out too far, you can end up. Um, you know bending the bolt or a lot of times this when you hit it with the hammer too much this um, top head part gets smashed in and then the socket won't fit on and you have to go take it to the grinder or sometimes if you have it too far out you'll smash the threads and then the threads are messed up and those are the messing the threads up is something you really don't want to do um, getting another bolt is much easier grinding that bolt but so I got this popped off It'll just pull right off of here now. Now you got your keyway here, you don't want to lose that. And this is um, what it looks like right here. See, it's got two magnets here and it's supposed to be all the way around. And what had happened was probably one of the magnets here came off. The rest of the magnets are sticking here. 
one of them probably came off and uh, broke the other two off. They're probably they're all loose now, but um, one of them probably came off, or two of them. Then the rest of them just had to come off. Um, so that's what happened there. Um, you can get some different kinds of super glue. Just uh, glue these back in here, clean it up in here. You can just get another flywheel, and um, you know that'll work too. But let's see if I can't find another flywheel and get moving on. All right, so I got another flywheel here, and uh, we'll go ahead and put that on. Here, uh, want to make sure you don't forget your keyway here. Some of them are a half moon. In that case, you just leave the keyway in and put the flywheel on over top. But in this case. It's just one that slides in, so we're going to put it in, line the hole up, take the keyway, and uh, push that down in there, like that, and then we're going to put our fan back on top, um, actually probably going to need to uh, put your coils back on if you uh, need to know how to do that refer to my John Deere X320 video to put coils on and um, we'll get this put back together all right so I got it all thrown back together got that plastic fan back on the top uh, this cover this other top cover here on and uh, now we can see if the blades will come on and 